when you meet somebody and it's the evidence of you're both serious about relationship and you may this may develop into something what you're you're really depending on is your lord as creator and savior and sovereign you'll and you're never any of those so as creator that person has a hard wiring you're not going to recreate a person in your image hear me say this again yeah. you'll never recreate a person in your image there are there's hard wiring that will be there for i don't know why this is true but i am incredibly task oriented i was that as a little boy i knew every day what i should do and when i was going to do it and and i've been that way my whole life that's probably not going to go away uh so so there's that there's that hard wiring that you won't change that's God as creator. As sovereign, he's written this person's story. And you're marked by your story. There are situations, locations, relationships, experiences that have shaped who you now are as an adult. You know, when I stand up to speak, I sometimes think there's 100 people that stand up with me who have all marked me in some way. You won't undo a person's story. And a relationship is now the, the sovereign God bringing together these two diverse stories into one story. I mean, I was raised in the boredom of Toledo, Ohio. Luala <laughs> was raised in the exotic environs, environs of Cuba. Mm -hmm. I mean, how different is, mm -hmm. is that? And so you have to esteem the story. Uh, there's a culture that person brings into marriage as a result of their story. It doesn't work to make fun of the way people do things or make fun of your extended family because you can't undo that. that. Those are God's choices. And then I'm depending on Jesus as Savior that he will continue the work in that person. I'm not Messiah. I have no ability whatsoever to change the heart of this person that I'm interested in. None. I can be an instrument, mm -hmm. but I can't create that change. And I think that one of the heartaches of Christian relationships is we try to be those in people's lives. We try to be creative, think, well, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I can shape this person. Mm -hmm. Or we, we try to force our culture on a person when it's not a right or wrong, it's just a difference. Right. Or we think we can be the ones to create the spiritual change that needs to happen instead of trusting the Savior. And that never works. It only ever ends, ends in, in heartache. Yeah, it's, a, it's that the classic, it's the fruit of the Spirit. It's not the fruit of our effort or our effort on other people. The, the Spirit calls people to Himself. He's the one who transforms them. He's the one who shapes them. He's the one who works in sanctification. He's the one who brings about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. I don't muster my effort up to try to get these qualities in my life. My job is to bear the fruit, not produce the fruit. And I think that, especially in marriage, early on, for a lot of relationships that I've seen, they're like, well, I can produce this in them if I try hard enough. And, and the difference Areas. is are, are God's choice. Difference in hardwiring, difference in story. They're, they're, they're God's choice. And so I should respond to those with appreciation and grace. 